If you want to see me swatch a total of 40 different nude to nude-ish lipsticks, then stick around. Hi there, it's Elen, and welcome back, or if it's your first time, welcome to HMM Makeup or Hmm Makeup. I am definitely going to be swatching 40, 40 uh, lip products today, and I am doing nude to nude brown to mauves today, and, uh, and I have another uh, lipstick video that is going to be focusing specifically on reds. Yeah. There's a lot of lip products coming up on the channel over the next couple of uh, videos for sure. Uh, if you are curious about this one, you will have to wait until the very end of the video because it's the last one I'm going to be swatching. If you have a lipstick that you were interested in, I'm going to do one arm and then the other arm and uh, they will all be in order. I will put every single one of the lipsticks, the name, and if there's a corresponding brand and number, I will include that as well, so that you can go back and fetch, if it's still available, the brand and color that I've swatched, or see on my arms what looks like a dupe of another one and then you have more options uh, for uh, if you like a color maybe you can find a half a dozen lipsticks that would do the trick for the type of color you like. So basically it's almost like a reference of a bunch of lipsticks that I have in my collection and this is not even all of them. If, uh, if there's something that you've been looking for that you don't see in this video, pop a comment. Um, in the comment box and and uh, I'll see if I can give you a recommendation on virtually any kind of color of lipstick. I have, I have quite a few lipsticks. I can dig around and, and see what I can find. Okay, blah blah blah. Let's start swatching. And the first one is a Canadian brand. It's Elise Wetier. And this one is going to be the Fondant in Sandra. So Fondant is a, is a specific kind of lipstick from Lise Watier. And it's quite, I, I've worn it, it's quite pretty. I don't want to roll it up too much, but it's kind of a, a, a nice mauve color. And it's, it's kind of not in the right spot, but I'm going to swatch it anyway. So it's a nice, almost like between a balm and a lipstick. It's very comfortable. I like the fondant uh, formula from Lise Watsi. And Lise Watsi is a Canadian brand, though it's owned by a megacorp, but it's a Canadian, considered a Canadian brand. And next one is a Pat McGrath um, lipstick, and this one is 1995. The lipstick is called 1995, and this is what it looks like. And let's watch 1995. Kind of like a rosy mauve. That's quite pretty. I, I really like that kind of a color very much. The next one I have is a uh, Quo lipstick. Quo is a brand that is sold at Shoppers Drug Mart uh, here in Canada and it is called, oh this one is a lip gloss and it is very much a nude. Let's do this one. And I have a variety of finishes. I have some that are creamy lipsticks, I have some glosses, I have some that are uh, matte, dry down matte. Um, so so quite a quite a, a big uh, range. Now this next one is called Leche and it is from Bite Beauty and it looks like this. So a lipstick pencil. So Leche. A little bit more on the rosy side. That's pretty. I, I really do like these kinds of um, pencils, especially if I'm not going to be using or having a lip pencil with me. A pencil kind of lipstick application is nice. Now this is one I'm not really familiar with and it is called Eggnog from Glamlight. So that is what it looks like. 
And let's just see the consistency of this one. And I do like the triangular shape, by the way, because it can't roll off your counter, which is kind of nice. Okay, a little bit more on the peachy side this time, but very, very pretty. So there we go, eggnog from Glamlight. It was part of their Christmas collection last year. Uh, this one is Colored Rain. Now, Colored Rain, I really like their lipsticks, and this one is called Serene. Definitely in nude, but with a little bit more brown than what we've had so far. So this is Serene. Really, really a nice color. Just a bit more brown than the second one that we had here. So colored rain, and now we're uh, using another a product uh, from another independent brand, which is Kat Von D or uh, KVD. I don't know if it's KVD Vegan Beauty anymore, but it's a, a very well-known color called Ludwig. I don't I get the feeling that the uh, lip products were getting discontinued by KVD Vegan Beauty. I'll have to. Uh, See, and they changed their name again, so I'm not sure. This is a liquid uh, lip, so it's going to dry down, so uh, the color will change a little bit as we go. So for any of the dry down uh, lipsticks, you want to take a look at the color after, not so much when I apply uh, first apply it, because it's going to look different. Next up is a Bare Minerals lip product, and it's called Everything. And I find that mauve uh, pinks tend to go with everything, for the most part. And so I really like the name. It's a good name for this product. So this is a uh, an opaque lip gloss, by what I can see. It's got a little bit of a, a brick undertone that I did not expect to see. So that's interesting. Now this is one of the very few pencils that I've included here. I think this is the only one in this range. Yes. And once in a while I include a lip pencil if it's a brand where the lip pencils tend to be creamy enough that you can do your whole lip. And this is a Lise Watier, uh pencil in Nude 477. And it's a very pretty color and as you can tell I've been using it. And here it is. just so that it's a big enough swatch so that you can see. So again, Nude 477 from Lise Watsier. Very pretty color, love this one. And next one we have is a Makeup Forever lipstick. I don't know if this is available anymore. It is the uh, 164 Rouge Artiste. And it's a very pretty color. Again, I, I like this one. I have used it a number of times. There we go. So far, not anything that is uh, dupe, really. Uh, we'll come across them for sure, but as of now, I'm not seeing any. Next one is an Urban Decay uh, lipstick, and it is my favorite one from Urban Decay. Well, no, I have four, four favorite ones, but this one is still uh, available from Urban Decay, and it's Back Talk. And I have the mini here. I don't know what happened to my full size. The, the mini lipstick had actually come out of its uh, footing, so I just put it back in its place. Come on, go straight it in. And Back Talk is a, is a beautiful color. If I don't even want to think about it, uh, Back Talk is a uh, lipstick shade that for my complexion, it's a no-brainer. It always looks good. After Back Talk, I did include this one, although it's kind of duochrome, iridescent. It is a lip gloss from Anastasia Beverly Hills, and it is the one in Saint-Tropez. And I've talked about this lip gloss a number of times, saying how much I like it, and I just wanted to include it in today's swatching because I felt like it still fit the color story that, uh, that we have going on here. And it's relatively opaque, so I mean, you could kind of consider it um, somewhat of a, a lipstick that just doesn't dry down. It's such a pretty color. I, I really like Saint-Tropez. It's just beautiful. 
Not to mention, I love the name. I mean, Saint-Tropez is such a beautiful name for uh, a place. Next, we have Sea Petal from Becca. Now, these, I think, are no longer available, but I didn't want to exclude it because if you have it in your collection, you just haven't used it for a while, and you see the swatch, and you kind of go, that is so pretty, maybe you'll uh, go back into your collection and uh, take it out and play with it. So there we go, C Petal from Becca. And Be the Becca lipsticks are very much full size. If you're curious and if you can still get your hands on any, they're magnetized, which is just so luxe. It's just crazy, it's awesome. I managed to fetch two of them before they disappeared. Uh, this next one is one that I've had for in my collection for a while, but it still seems to be fine, and it's this Vasanti uh, lip product, and it is the Power Oils Lip Gloss, and it doesn't say... Oh, yeah, it does. Shade is in Supermom. That's a cute name. Supermom, and it's got a wand, and let's do... Let's swatch Supermom. There we go, Super Mom. So these are all, again, so different from each other. And they're all nude. So nude is a, nude is a big category. This is a beautiful one here called Fig Luster from Sephora. And it's a luster matte in their long wear lip color category. And it's very, very mauve. And that, this, is, this is absolutely in my preferred shade. I really like a mauve like that so much so that I'm painting over <laughs> the uh, the Vasanti lip gloss there. Isn't that gorgeous? It's almost like too much here. Okay. Well, I apologize, Vasanti, but you've you've been <laughs> overlapped by, have you been, maybe I should just say lapped <laughs> by another lip product. So again, this is um, Sephora Luster Matte uh, Long Wear Lip Color. I don't know if Sephora still has it, uh, but it's just at least a, a reference point for everything else uh, in case you have it in your collection. Okay, this this one was a quite a discovery. I can't remember if it was this year or last year. No, it's last year. Iced Grape from Elizabeth Arden is beautiful. Actually, there's a handful now of Elizabeth Arden lipsticks that came in the holiday sets over the years. I really am enjoying the colors. And this one is no exception. It is Iced Grape in uh, number 36. And you can tell already how much I enjoy mauves and this one is no exception. It's very pretty. I do go and search specifically for that one uh, on a regular basis because it always looks so good. Um, with Especially with a cool look, it, it looks great. The, next I have a different one. Uh, they're all so eclectic. It's the Infallible Pro Matte Liquid Lipstick in... Can I see a name? Oh yeah, right here. Uh, 372 Petal Potion is, oh, there we go. This is what you want to see. Petal Potion. And it looks like a liquid lipstick. It's been a while since I've used this one. Petal Potion 372 from L'Oreal. There we go. Petal Potion, and I do like this kind of applicator very much. Okay, and another liquidy type product, but in this case, we are going back to Backtalk from Urban Decay, and this is the uh, lip gloss version of Backtalk. And I have three versions of Backtalk uh, that I'm swatching here today because they are three different products. So here is the Backtalk lip gloss. make sure I put it the right way. And again, this is a um, container, a lip gloss container that does not roll off your counter because it is square. So there we go. So you have Backtalk right here. 
and I believe back talk was this one right here. So you, you can see a little bit. Ah, uh, is it this or is it? Hang on. Hang on. Let's make sure that we've got the right one for back talk. Yeah, this is back talk. So back talk and back talk. It's just nervous I didn't have the right one. But yes, this is back talk. This is back talk. Next up, we have another Canadian brand. This is Cheekbone Beauty. This is an Aboriginal uh, owned brand, First Nations owned brand. Beautiful, beautiful products. And although their, their lip products don't last very long. So if you decide you want Cheekbone Beauty uh, bullet lipsticks, for example, make sure that you don't buy, that you don't overbuy and that you use them up because they are very natural products and they don't have a huge shelf life and that's something I learned the hard way so just so that you know probably this type of product has a longer shelf life than the bullet lipstick but I could be wrong all right so we have this one Ashley and they are all uh, they all tend to be female uh, names as uh, as the color names here gosh that is so beautiful that is Ashley very very pretty color very pretty. Now I did try to get somewhat of a gradient of color and it seems to be working out. Hopefully it looks all right to you. The next one I have is a lipstick from Melt Cosmetics and it is called Old Rose and this is what it looks like and let's see what that looks like. I have swatched it before and I think I've only used it once before and that does not match at all the colors that we've been playing with, but that's okay. Old Rose. It's a very, very nude uh, lipstick. Quite pretty in my opinion. I am wearing a Melt lip color, but I'm only going to tell you what it is at the very end. Uh, but this is one of the other Melt products I have, as I state the obvious. Now this next one is a Smashbox product, but I don't think it's available anymore. And it doesn't even have a name, but just for fun, let's swatch that one as well. Kind of useless, but we're doing swatches, so why not? So if you have uh, non-dry down Smashbox uh, lipsticks and you haven't worn this color but you have it and you like it well then you might want to dig it out of your collection this one was a sample but i did end up with the whole series of this type of lipstick from smashbox i don't think they offer them anymore okay this next one is one that i am trying to finish and it is a it's called smoky plum from elizabeth arden and as you'll see i don't have a whole lot left and like the uh, iced grape that I showed you earlier, it's a color that I really, really like from Elizabeth Arden. So this one I find really, really pretty. 37 Smoky Plum. For my complexion, it's, it's very pretty. And I'm sorry, I couldn't give you a, a smaller swatch because it's kind of, it's kind of flat. <laughs> I will definitely finish it this uh, year and I'll be so sad when it goes but at least the um, iced grape is it's not that far off and so I have at least a uh, another lip product okay I have a few vice uh, liquid lipsticks from Urban Decay this first one is trivial which looks very much like back talk and I think back talk is the next one over that I'm going to be swatching next so here is Trivial. Trivial and Backtalk are both quite pretty. Okay, there's a, there's a proper swatch right there, Trivial. And I'm not swatching back talk right away. I put back talk a little bit further down with some more rosier colors. Uh, it's amulet is the next one that I'm swatching. So let's do amulet. Again, pretty similar to, to trivial. I don't know if I needed to uh, shake this one a little bit. It doesn't seem to be applying as well as I know it can. Let's, oh boy, that's going to be the last swatch on that arm. 
I'm all over the place. Okay, so that is a that is a very big swatch. So that is amulet and a trivial amulet back talk. I like all of them uh, when it comes to nudes in the liquid lipstick um, category of Urban Decay. Next, I'm going to do a bullet uh, lipstick from Clinique, and it is in 01 Blushing Pop. And I'm going to be doing a second row of swatches here. Let's see how much I have. How much do I have left? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So yeah, I'm going to do a second row, but I'm, I'm not going to start quite that far because I don't have my arms not big enough on that side. Uh, so let's do. Yeah, let's start right over here. I have worn this one uh, a few times recently and have quite enjoyed it. I had it on my lips earlier today and was planning on wearing this one in the video actually, but the problem was that it didn't really go with my eye color, my, my eyeshadow color for today and I had to I had to change it to make it uh, work better. But it is quite pretty if you want um, more of a kind of a rosy but rosy rust color. I yeah, I think it's a it's a nice color and it's pretty comfortable for a matte uh, lip. Next one is a an oldie but a goodie and it is the KVD Double Dare liquid lip. And let's compare it to the clinic color. So kind of between a peach and a red. That would have been a good one to wear with the eye color actually. My um, eyeshadow is KVD Vegan Beauty eyeshadow so that's probably why it's a really good match with my eyeshadow color right now. <laughs> but again KVD Vegan Beauty uh, Double Dare. And next to Double Dare, there is a, another Lise Watier uh, lip product in Haute Lumière. Never mind, Haute Lumière is not the name. It's called Natural Shine. Haute Lumière, I think, is the, the type of lip gloss that this is because it comes with a light. I don't know if you can see that it's, it's glowing. See that there's a light in the cap? So it's kind of a, it's a clubbing lip gloss. All right, Haute Lumière uh, lip gloss, and I'll give you the name again once I'm done doing the swatch. I'm just gonna go in with a little bit more so we can see the color. Okay, so there we go. Like a lip gloss, it's a little bit goopy. Next, we have uh, an Estee Lauder lipstick, and this one is in 124 Oat Nude. It's a cream uh, lip color and it's a very pretty color. When I tried it the first time I thought that this is great. This is a lipstick that I will finish because it's it's kind of like for my complexion it's my lips but better. So it's a very very pretty bullet lipstick. Um, easy wearing kind of a color. I, I really think that they did a great job with the color formulation for this lipstick. And next I have another Estee Lauder lipstick and this is in 337 The New Pink and it is a sheen lipstick and this one is very much more rosy than the other one I just swatched. It's a sheen so it's not as full coverage as the um, the other lipstick. And let me just make sure that I give you the, the names again. So this one is uh, 337 The New Pink, this one. And this one is Oat Something. Let me just give you the, the name. So the one before was 124 Oat Nude and it's a cream color. Back to Urban Decay, we are going back to Back Talk back to back to back to back. <laughs> and this is the liquid lipstick uh, formulation for Back Talk. There we go. Very, very nice. 
And I have a similar color to Backtalk next, which is the Rouge Edition Velvet Lip from uh, Bourgeois. And it is in 07 Velvet, and it's such a pretty color. And it's a um, matte finish lip product. So this one is going to stay put for a while. There you have it. So the only lip product I have from Bourgeois, by the way. And this is not my whole uh, lip collection. I just tried to get you a quite a big range of lip, lip products just to get a feel for different colors, different finishes, different brands. So I hope this is entertaining. I have another one from Glam Light, uh, which is Pecan Pie. They're all pretty much food related items. And I don't uh, recall whether this is a um, liquid lipstick, but I think it's a gloss. Yeah, this is a gloss. Okay. Pecan Pie, which is a kind of an unusual name for a lip color that is not brown. But we'll go with it. And I said that when I unpacked it the first time. But why is this called Pecan Pie? But it's pretty nonetheless. A nice lip gloss. Easy wearing lip gloss. Now this next one is a little weird. It's from Clinique and it is um, a pop lip shadow and it's an 05 Blossom Pop. It's a really weird uh, type of, of, of product. So it looks, you'll see that it looks kind of like an eyeshadow dropper. And you, it's, kind, it's almost like a powdery product. And the, the lip product is in the cap. And you press this thing in, there's a little bit of a spring to it and you go into the cap to get the product to put on your lips. It's almost like, to me, it's almost like a powdery lip stain. So it's an interesting product. I, I like the color. Um, anytime I've worn it, it's, it's done fine. It's just so different from any of the other products I'm used to. Next one is my last uh, Pat McGrath uh, lipstick. And this is more of a mauve color again, and it's called Omi, it's called Omi uh, as, a, as a bullet lipstick. So let's do a swatch of that one. Omi. Nice, it's, a, it's pink but with a tiny bit of a brick undertone. Really nice. Yeah, very, very pretty, very pretty color. The uh, Pat McGrath Minis, you can get a set of three at a time. It's nice because you can try three of her colors for kind of the price of one full-size lipstick. And I think that's nice just to get a feel for what you might want from the brand because the lipsticks are quite pricey from uh, Pat McGrath. Well, everything from Pat McGrath is pretty pricey. Next, another pricey uh, lip product, not as expensive as Pat McGrath, but uh, Fenty. Fenty, uh, this one is called the Gloss Balm Cream in Fenty Glow 02. And here we go with this one. So again, a lip gloss. Fenty Glow 02. And I do like that the applicator is pretty big. You're not having to, to go over and over and over again. You can get your look done pretty quickly. And again, it's a lip gloss. So you're not going to have full coverage when I'm trying to give you a swatch because they get they end up getting quite sheer. Look at the size of this applicator. It's like four times the size of a regular applicator and I think I think that's great. I, I'm not huge on the tiny tiny uh, doe foot applicators because it can, can sometimes take quite a, quite a while to cover your lips especially if it's a colorful lip gloss and not just kind of a sheer lip gloss. And we're back to another Becca product. This is another one of those nice fancy lipsticks and it is in Sea Orchid. And it's the ultimate lipstick love is the, the type of lipstick from Becca. Here is the color. And it is so, so nice. That 
these two look very similar. Interesting. They're all, I mean, all of these are quite nice. And you may have seen me swatch a few things that you have in your collection and think, huh, what I have is, is, is great. I am pretty happy with them. That is fantastic. I love to hear that. I have another one from Colored Rain, and this is a, a more of a brown, rusty brown color. Not quite like what I've got, but similar. And it is called Whipped is the uh, name of the color. And I, this is a lipstick I have not touched. Interesting. Okay, well, I am playing with it today. Probably because my brown go-to color is uh, 1994 from Urban Decay. And there we go. It's actually more peachy, peachy brown than I expected. Is it looks it looks a lot darker in bullet format, in my opinion. That's okay. Uh, that that makes this one much more approachable to me. I'm going to be more interested in in using it. I said 1994, right? It's it's 1993. What is my problem? I went 1992 or 1994. I didn't say 1993, but yet that's, it's my favorite lipstick from Urban Decay. Uh, brain fart. <laughs> so let me just uh, do the swatch over top here because it does remind me of this uh, lipstick. So let's just see how far off. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm so far off. But the, the lipstick in the tube made me think of uh, 1993. So let me just get it back out and look at it look at what it looks like as a bullet okay i'm not nuts they're they're not that far apart but as a swatch they look really really different wow that's why you know swatch comparisons are helpful on a number of fronts and this is just an example of that but I do like the kind of rusty color that comes through with this uh, Colored Rain uh, lipstick in Whipped. And now I promised you I would tell you which Melt lipstick is on my lips because it's the last one that I have to swatch here in this uh, nude lipstick category of swatches. We've got quite a few swatches. We're back to this one. So this is the last lipstick. It is the lipstick I have on my lips and it is very unexpected. It dries down quite a bit darker than it is in the tube, in my opinion. And so I considered this a nude, but when I look at it, it's kind of between a red and a nude, like a, as in a red red and a nude. And so I'm actually going to wear this both videos, both for the nudes and for the reds, because I just feel like it's kind of in between. I'm going to swatch it even though it's on my lips and it will be the last swatch of the day. We get to compare it to the colored rain whipped color. There we go. There we go. Now let's take a look at all of them. So I just seal back the, uh, the melt uh, lipstick in, it's called Rebound by the way, Rebound is the name of this guy. And I, I want to take a look at the, uh, the colors overall. As I look at the colors and the finishes, I don't really have a whole lot of preferences. I think that I would continue to wear every single color that I have on my arm, uh, just depending on the eye look that I create. I like all of them. There's nothing in here that I would declutter because I don't like it. I, I think that they are all uh, quite nice, all very wearable, and um, and I, I don't mind all the finishes. I like I like a uh, liquid lipstick when I want something to not move, uh, or a, a matte drying um, bullet lipstick as well. I have no problem with that. Um, I like the, for example, the 1993 I mentioned. I 
love putting it on. It seems to, to uh, dry reasonably well that it's not transferring all over the place. I don't have to keep reapplying it. Um, yeah, I, I think that, that all of these I would recommend just depending on what it is that, that you, you would like. And again, as I said, I'm going to have from um, one down and then down all of these listed in the description box so that you can go back and um, reference them in the, um, in the description box uh, if you want to go back to a certain color that, uh, or a name brand uh, that you saw in this video that you're interested in. I will stop talking at this point. I do hope you enjoyed the swatches. I hope you uh, enjoyed and, and found it uh, useful at the same time. And uh, let me know what you think in the comments. I always love to hear your feedback. And please take a look. You will have a bunch of red swatches coming to you in the next video. But for now, thank you for watching. I appreciate it every single time and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care.